Sure Trader 2019. What are the pros? What are the cons? What are some overall general thoughts? Should you use it? Should you not? Let's get to it. Okay, traders. So let's start with some pros. Some pros of Sure Trader would be some of the obvious and probably the most obvious is the PDT rule. For anyone that doesn't know what the PDT rule is, you probably do by now since you're looking into using SureTrader. PDT means pattern day trading. Within the United States, all brokers will require you to have $25,000 in cash to open an account and not trade under the pattern day trading rule. So for traders that don't have $25,000 and they're looking to be a day trader, and they want to trade more than three times per rolling week, they have to find someone that allows you to trade without PDT. So to do that, you have to go offshore. One of them being SureTrader. So that's the main one. And another pro, just to get into it, is this beautiful software called DOS. Now, DOS is just, to me, the best software there is to trade. It's simple. It might not be as you know cool looking, and the charting might not be a hundred percent as awesome as Thinkorswim or some other charting softwares out there. But it's clean, it's simple, and it's fast. Fast being the number one thing that we're paying attention to. Fast is what you want when you're day trading. You want to be in. You want to be out when you hit the button. So another good one is uh, the shorts that. Uh, SureTrader offers. How SureTrader does it, however, is a little bit different than most other brokers. Most brokers, including US and some other offshore brokers, when you have shorts available for a stock, you'll be pulling them, <laughs> pull, you'll be taking them from a pool. You'll be pulling them from a pool. I could have said that, but obviously it doesn't sound right. But with SureTrader, right here, as you see in this montage, either it's shortable or it's not. And they're going to have unlimited shorts. So if it's available to short, it's shortable. But at any time, and this has happened to me before in the uh, middle of the day, uh, actually it was like at 1030, you know, a stock, they can take the shorts away when and whenever they choose. So like when I was in the trade yesterday on Twitter, I could have got in here and got my second entry. And when I actually got my third entry up here, they could have taken them away and that could have screwed me. So you know, that is what it is. They can do what they want, which is also a con, but we'll get to that later. I got a little ahead of myself, but there's another con with something along the, um, that sa the same baseline there that I'm trying to get to, but let's stick with the pros for now. Um, another pro, so they do have a lot of shorts available. You just have to keep in mind that they can take them away whenever they want. Um, there was actually a couple, uh, I believe it was SRNE, and there was a bunch. There was a couple other ones where they had shorts the previous day, and then the next day they were gone. But that's not that uncommon between most brokers. You know, some brokers just run out of shares. So, another big one is you only need five hundred dollars to open up a Sure Trader account to get the six to one leverage. So you essentially can take five hundred dollars, and it can be traded as three thousand dollars immediately. So there is that. Um, for the DOS platform, um, you'll pay a monthly fee. It's $49. Um, to me, that's a pro because you don't need anything else. You don't need level two. You don't need all the extra stuff. Um, like, uh, the news feeds, you don't like, you don't need all that stuff. You could actually run think or swim side by side and get that extra stuff. If you really want it, you can have level two, you can have, uh, the news headline, news body, all that stuff in Thinkorswim if you really want to go that way. But to me, it's a pro that it's pretty cheap um, for, you know, a platform that's only 49 bucks. That's really low to me in comparison to some other brokers out there, U.S. included. Um, they do offer a free demo account. A uh, demo account is free for 30 days. And then if you want to keep the demo account, you would have to pay a monthly fee to keep it. So that can actually be helpful. If you're not ready to trade, you shouldn't force yourself to be ready. Another pro is, to me, their customer service live chat. I'm not saying their customer service as a whole. However, the live chat portion of their customer service, if you go into the website and go to your account dashboard, which I can show you that real quick. 
Anybody want some Dunkin' Donuts? Let's go Sure Trader. And it'll actually show up down in this area. It'll say live chat. You would hit it. And sure enough, you would get connected. It's it's never taken more than 10 minutes total. Um, but when it has taken 10 minutes, it's been at pretty busy parts of the day. Like if I had a problem with an order or I was confused about something that happened, you know, it might take a little longer during, you know, the busy parts of the day because that's when everybody's trying to get in contact with them. And that's uh, another thing with sure traders, you know, they're, it's filled with a lot of newer traders. So there's probably a lot of people taking up the queue, you know, trying to ask questions that, you know, they might have probably should have known the answer to. Um, as far as pros, um, that's somewhat all I can think of as far as like things that stand out as far as being a pro. Um, I'm sure there's other things in there that are pretty minute, but uh, let's get to some of the cons. And the number one con to me is, I'm just going to read this off of here. It says in 2016, the founder and CEO of SureTrader, I'm not going to say his name. You guys can look that up if you want. Um, but he was actually charged by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission for perpetrating penny stock manipulation manipulation schemes and AWX, if you want to go look the stock up. And essentially what he did is he bought the entire float of the stock and made everyone, or he essentially created a short squeeze because once the short started covering, there was really no one to purchase stocks from but him. So it essentially made the stock go up and up and up and up and up. And then once it was up there, obviously, you know, he's making his money because he bought this float all the way down here and now he's selling shares way up there. But in January of 2017, the court dismissed the charges. Uh, SureTrader's platform um, didn't really take a hit from it or anything. You know, everyone that was using SureTrader, you know, it is what it is. But it's just something to keep in mind. You know, you got to always remember who you're doing business with. Uh, they've been around for a while. They were the kind of the pioneer of you know, the offshore brokers that allowed you to trade without PDT. So always just keep that in mind. Um, also, I know that SureTrader doesn't have an Apple uh, or a Mac um, downloadable software. So you would actually have to use a special software to use it on a Mac, such as like Crossover, uh, Parallels, or Bootcamp, I believe is the other one. Um, and actually to order sh and, and actually to actually use <laughs> SureTrader software. Um, so to get into another one um, is their commissions. I know to start out, if you're trading under 250,000 shares a month, you're gonna be paying what I'm paying right now, which is 495 sh uh, of trade um, per ticket. So when you hit the button to get into the trade, that's 495. When you hit the button to get out of the trade, that's 495. Um, and anything over that, once you get to 495 shares, it's it's one penny a share. So if you had 1,000 shares, it's $10. If you had 2,500 shares, it's $25. All the way up to 5,000 shares where it would be $50. Anything over 5,000 shares, say you bought 10,000 shares, it would still be $50. There's a max of $50. But that is, that's outrageous <laughs> if you're trading high shares like that. Um, once you get into the 250 to 500,000, it goes down to 0 0.008 pennies per I don't know, 0 0.008 of a penny <laughs> per share over 4.95, and it's actually 3.95 per trade. Uh, 500 to 750 is 0.006, 2.95 a trade, 750 to a million it's 0.004, and 195 a trade. Which I mean, if you're trading that much, you probably shouldn't be on short trader to begin with. You shouldn't be trading that much if you're just starting out. Um, another thing that they do, uh, let me pull back up the main screen, is they will actually put trade restrictions on stocks, um, mainly the low floaters and the ones that are moving for the day. So that six to one leverage that I had mentioned earlier, you don't always get that. Um, like take OCX for instance, I don't even know why I typed this one in, it's just always stuck in my head because it was a bad trade of mine. Um, but as you can see, they're only offering one to one on this stock. Um, LCI, you do get the six to one. Um, down here you see OSS is actually only two to one, uh, down here you got ACHC, which is three to one, which it, this actually cost me a good trade cause I couldn't add and I didn't know that th they actually have, um, if you go to tool tools and internal message here every day, they'll pop up and show you 
what stocks are restricted. Well, I actually checked that list before I got into ACHC and it wasn't on that list, but that's why I now have this up um, because this is always up to date. Whereas in that internal message, they don't always have to update that, you know, right as they do it. So somewhere along the lines, they didn't have it on here, but they updated it and they didn't, you know, and I didn't know it. And I thought it was six to one, but it was actually only three to one. And it actually cost me some money. So that is another, you know, disadvantage is that they do restrict some of their stocks and they'll put, you know, margin restrictions on it. Um, I had already mentioned the shorts, um, you know, they can take those away whenever they want. So be careful of that. And it can be right in the middle of a trade. So, I mean, you could, you could be short, 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 short. And if it's a longer trade, um, say this thing kept going and for half the day you're managing the trade, well, somewhere in here, they could just say, oh, no, we don't want to offer any more shorts on TWTR. And you're, it's tough luck. It, it is what it is. But on most brokers, they'll have you know shares available, and you'll see how many shares are available. And it goes off of that versus where SureTrader, either they offer them or they don't. So to me, that's a disadvantage. Um, moving on, uh, just... I think one of the last things I would like to touch on is just them not being based in the U.S. It also means that your money isn't insured. So they've been around for a while. They were the pioneers of all this, you know, so they offer a wide variety of services to the day traders, but they're no longer the only option. And uh, there are more attractive and cheaper alternatives out there, you know, available to other traders. So you just have to be careful with... Um, you know, who you're doing business with, you know, picking the newest, and you know, broker out there because they're promising you the best rates, you know, that might not be the best option because, you know, they don't have a history or a reputation yet. So, but there haven't, um, that was one other thing is there had, I have personally never had any issues with depositing or withdrawing. So I, I honestly don't have any complaints about sure trader as a whole, you know, to me, they're a necessary evil. And that's just how I've always looked at them. One last thing uh, is I just want to give you some alternatives to Short Trader. Um, you know, again, they were the pioneer in offering these services uh, to get around the PDT rule mainly uh, without having the $25,000 to make an account in the U.S. Um, but there are some others out there, such as Capital Markets Elite Group, um, which is CMEG, otherwise known as CMEG, and they'll actually offer you um, 295 a trade um, but to get that I'll actually leave a link in the description below um, my associate Kevin Avery uh, he's been with them for a while and he has worked out a deal with them so if you guys possibly want to go over to them um, which I'm actually looking to do so myself <laughs> just because they basically have taken short traders model and you know made it better and it's more appealing and in the long run if you are trading more it actually benefits you to go with something that's a little bit lower in commissions so but with that guys you know sure trader is what it is you know they were the first um they've never been the best they'll never be the worst so take that for what it is and uh like and subscribe if you haven't already questions comments down below uh talk to you guys later peace